Well, a very good afternoon and good evening to all our participants that have joined us today. I am Noel, your host for today's interesting session. It gives me great pleasure to inform all those who have joined the session for the very first time that Monster APAC and EMI is now founded. Well, founded as a platform that curates the path to possibilities for you to find exactly what you seek and be able to say, found it. We want to be your trusted partner to enable and connect the right talent with the right opportunities through a data-driven approach that offers personalized and customized journeys for job seekers and recruiters alike. I request all of you to please encourage your colleagues, participants, peers as well, uh, you know, because the webinar is about to get started and I request all of you to please uh, circulate this in your respective groups as well so that everyone's back on time and we do not have anyone missing out on this special webinar. All right. And as you all know, Recruit, it is an initiative by Founded, formerly APAC and ME, to connect CEOs, CHROs, and leaders in the HR and talent acquisition space with HR and TA professionals through a series of webinar sessions. And welcome to Founded Recruit session 19. And before I go ahead and introduce your topic, please do encourage everyone to participate in the session. Well, 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 the recruitment landscape has evolved rapidly in the last few years, while pandemic forced talent acquisition professionals to upskill and reskill to adapt to the new ways of hiring. Post pandemic, the trend has not slowed down much. Recruiting industry is evolving at a rapid pace and virtual hiring or recruiting is an important aspect of it. To talk more on this topic today, we have with us Anil Kumar, TA head WFM Quest Corp Limited. Well, Anil is a recruitment enthusiast with experience across multiple industries and locations. He is a Yoga Alliance USA certified instructor and an avid traveler. Currently, Anil serves as a TA head for Quest Corp's WFM business. According to him, talent acquisition team plays a very vital role in helping companies achieve their objectives. As the primary brand ambassador, the TA team can make a significant impact on an organization's success. Well, over to you, Anil. Thank you so much for joining with us. It'll be a pleasure hosting you alongside. Thank you, Noel. Uh, wonderful uh, introduction. And good afternoon to all. Uh, today, uh, the session which we are going to See, it's it's a very important session. Let me let me just put across to my screen. So, guys, I think uh, we have the good crowd. So, here, if you look at back uh, uh, during the pandemic or before the pandemic, those are doing the uh, you can say uh, the uh, the recruiting. The recruiting. If you see the this is the one survey which is the LinkedIn has done and. Uh, so what the people are telling the virtual recruiting, the they, this is the one poll they have done and they are telling virtual recruiting 81% total, uh, you know, crowd the poll which they have done 81% will be agree the virtual recruiting will be continue even the post COVID. And that's how the we are seeing the now, now the virtual recruiting is happening. And same way, 70, 72, sorry, 70% 70 talent professional, recruitment professional has uh, shown their positive result that it will be the standard. And I can see there is a lot of changes even the post pandemic. Uh, now, even most of the people prefer for the virtual recruiting is still this normalized not happened. This is the poll has taken back. So I've just given the background after the pandemic and after the pandemic, what the what the people thought process was there, what was the mind was there, and now what we are reality we are failing, facing. So looking forward for the 2023, we are going to the, we are running first uh, first quarter, and this is what the what is look like. Virtual recruiting is here, okay? And it it's going to be continued. That's how we feel that, and that's how the people are saying. But it will be keep evolving. That's a question mark. And that's how the we are looking at. Then when the when when go for the basics for the virtual recruiting. Okay, virtual recruiting is basically when we say same thing which we are doing the traditional hiring, it will be involved for the process of sourcing, 
screening, hiring candidate for job position remotely using any technology anyways, but it's a virtually. Earlier, what happening the traditional hiring, the, whenever the hiring we are doing, we have to physically present. And now we are doing any, any, any location, TA or recruitment team doing for the, any location, uh, the hiring this time. This is the increasingly, basically, if you see the post the COVID, the most of the company, those are even not even doing the 5% or 10% for virtual recruiting. Few of the IT companies, most of the IT companies are using for the virtual recruiting, but during the COVID or post the COVID, that's a forcefully, there are other industries also, they have forced organization to, they have to work, shift their complete hiring process to the virtually. And I think we, we are the, we are the witness for that, which we are seeing last from so many years. This is the tradition is going on. So now, what is now the, which is the topic we are today? Is it art or science? Virtual recruiting is an art or science. This is what I can see, or you can say this is the both. Okay. So we are going to talk about the here, virtual recruiting, and I, I'm looking forward the actual, uh, active participation for both of us for the world audience as well as the as will will participate and will will come up the some conclusion here so basically which we see the art and size of successful virtual recruiting evolve combination of the effectiveness strategies the you have to make the different strategies than the traditional hiring which we used to do then it's involved tools techniques technology and enable recruiter to find the hire the best fit candidate efficiently and seamlessly. That's how the, it's a virtual recruiting all about. And how will uh, win the virtual game, game? How, okay, before that, before we are going to hear, I, I, uh, I ask Noel to run one more poll, quick poll, to begin with the, and we are moving forward for the next slide. Noel? All right, so I'm running the second poll as well. Just give me a quick moment as I do that. Yeah. All right, and this is uh, regards to the form of recruiting. I request and recommend all the participants to kindly participate in this uh, poll question, uh, which will also give us uh, a, a deeper understanding in terms of what you guys think about which form of recruiting do you prefer? Would it be traditional? Uh, would it be virtual recruiting or would it be hybrid or a combination of both? So uh, I see that 40% of our participants have taken the poll. I really request all of you guys to please participate in these polls. Uh, I'll, I'll hold it for another 10 seconds and then we can maybe uh, share the results. Uh, would that be okay, Anil? Yes, please. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's close in another five seconds for three all right i'm going to end the poll at the moment thank you everyone for uh participating in this and uh anil with your permission can i share the results as well yeah please no. wonderful all right so here are the results and uh hybrid or combination of both leading from the front there spearheading and then we have uh, that followed by virtual recruiting and we also have traditional recruiting over to you yeah yeah that's a that's a fantastic result. I think if you see the all the participant is the showing the same same thing what we are feeling. So I know there's a uh, there's a uh, you know the traditional and the uh, the most of the people are feeling that seventy eight percent this result now showing for the hybrid model. Yes, of course because the few industry few the uh, you know the industry the uh, organization the they now after the COVID when we started. Uh, the office uh, we started resume back to again office that's that's how the most of companies are facing but yeah i'm i'm still surprising the 39 percent which is showing the uh, virtual recruiting and i think very uh, limited percentage showing for traditional recruiting only so it's me it's a source the trend that's how the we are everybody feeling now now we are coming the when when we see the uh, how how to win the game when the virtual Recruiting is a trend. How will win the game? And I always say to the my just a minute. Just allow me some minute. I think uh, my slide is stuck. Yeah, sorry. 
so i always tell to whenever i have go to multiple colleges i i used to talk to about my teams i talked about other create a strong brand employer brand and why i am telling this and first brand ambassador is always is a recruiter the talent acquisition team we are first any because when you approach to somebody the way we speak the way we talk the way we cater in terms of the our uh, our company how to we represent our company our organization our brand our values our culture this is how the is create a brand so if we want to win this game so we should be first thing is that we have to create a strong employer brand so i'll give you the just example if you just look at the top 10 it companies if somebody is calling any xyz candidate and they are calling a, a hi hello i am calling from xyz company what is the impact on that part to the candidates and when any startup calling and asking them hey buddy i am calling from this 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 company my company do this my company do this is the headcount this is the company size this is the revenue all because this is the brand value so if we want to wherever you are wherever we are whichever company we are working whichever organization we are doing it's a brand so create a st strong brand to attract the top talent and the recruiters talent acquisition team we have to show their our organization culture values and create a compelling brand that is will be relate to the candidates the second point second point in the virtual recruiting is must we have to know how to leverage the technology technology is a playing a role today we are talking i think multiple countries multiple location we are talking is the leverage of the technology we know how to leverage the technology earlier what happened when technology was not there in particular one country some webinar happening some conference is happening person all the way have to fly and go and particular one crowd they have to go and address it so that was the challenge now what we are visiting one place and covering the multiple countries multiple location multiple this is what the technology so we have to involve the digital channels such as a video conferencing video calling and then ats ats applicant tracking system where we can easily track the what is the applicants they are applying then major play now playing the role is social media now if you see i can lots of time i i i i'm very social media person so i can see now the people are recruiting through the instagram uh, linkedin and other other platform and uh, and you you guys might be surprised there was one survey ever i was going through and might be it's it's a fun but yeah this is the reality in the us today 25% hiring happening through the one of the dating app which is the very popular dating app the people are recruiting you keep i was just going through an article and it was showing one of the dating app people are recruiting that's very and they are recruiting very 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 top talent they are recruiting that so that is the technology it's up to us so if to it, it's up to us how we are utilizing that technology so so it's it's a social media then basically the the candidates earlier what happening if we are calling to somebody some xyz location we are calling to somebody have to fly from other location when we are recruiting for the top leaders or top management we have to ask somebody to fly some and meet the multiple people and he have to the cost will be at the company and now is the technology when we know so we have to where we have to leverage the technology now if you see that there is a next level of technology is going to come which might be good also or bad also where the robot or ai will going to screen your profiles ai is going to do, uh, use the uh, you can say the uh, that cv is first level screening one of the company best practice i was going through the first first you can say the level of profile screening sourcing that doing through the chatbot the chatbot do everything and then when when coming to the uh, say, uh, you can say the when is coming to the scheduling the interview then actual recruiter at ta team uh getting involved see these are the technology so we have to the up to the game and we know how to and when we have to leverage the technology the per, the third point which i wanted to compel here the personalize the recruitment process how it will be do so 
So as I say, we have to build the connection. As I say, my first point was there. Uh, we have to be a, we are a brand ambassador to the company. How we are connecting to the, our uh, candidates, how well we are personalizing the candidate experience, their positive experience in terms of the recruitment, their hiring complete process, that's, that's a make a big impact. How you are doing the closely follow up, how much you are good, getting engaged to their candidate from the sourcing to till the person is joining, that's also play a major role. And how you can say creating the JD, sometimes JD is very, 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 you can say standard, how you personalize that JD to the particular candidate and showing the candidate effective JD and making him understand the JD. Then personalized message when you know that your candidate sometime you know that they are date of birth and all and you know the two month three month person going to join and you know the in between his birthday birthday is coming or anything anniversary or anything coming and when you you wishing to hear one of the your candidates just look at the candidate feeling the personally the person is going to emotionally attach with the you how you are taking care of the your candidate so these are the experience when we'll say to we have to be personalized with the recruitment process, the person should know about the, how you are well connected to the employees, sorry, your candidates. Now, the data analytics, how you use the, your data, you have to see the trend, like now, just now here, look at the two polls, which Noel has done. This is the source, how, what is the market need? What is the demand need? Now, if you see the, if you see the latest, this is the current situation market, the latest trend coming, this year, going to most hiring is going to happen for data analytics, AI, and then cyber securities. These are the, this is the train. How is, so we have to use our data analytics. We have to understand our, uh, and, and, and if, uh, this data analytics will, if uh, you can say, help uh, to identify most recruiting channels. We understand which are the recruiting channels is more effective and how, and then monitor the recruitment progress process when you use the ATS, when you use the different technology and optimizing the recruiting effort and cost. When you know the data, okay, which are the industry, when you know the ATS, you'll filter the data, you will filter the, you will filter the CVs, you will filter the, you will filter the skills wise, location wise, or the experience wise, when your effort and your process will be reduced, your time will be resumed. There is coming assess for the culture fit. This is the, my dear friends, it will be the, you know, big challenge while you're doing the rec virtual recruiting. Because when you're assessing the person in front of you, when you're assessing the person in, in person, it will be, it will be easy to any recruiter to evaluate the person values, their work style, their calm skill, their, uh, the culturally fit, how the person is fit into there. But in the virtually, it will be tough job. And I do, I know this as a, as a TA professional, as a TA recruitment person or recruiters, is it's our job to make the person assess for the culture fit best to best, even during the virtual hiring. The last point which I wanting to the winning the virtual hiring game, the point which I wanted to cover in this, this uh, slide, I wanted to cover the stay engaged. How you stay engaged to the, your candidate throughout the recruitment process. I think one of the example I said, how you personalize, you connected with the person, regular communication and feedback to the candidates, whatever feedback, the panel wise, the label wise, whatever you're getting feedback, let's be very engaged to the, your candidate. It's not the person has submitted the profiles and he gone to first round of interview. And you know that the second interview is going to happen after one week, two weeks, and it's take time but you are not communicating anything. So that the disengage to your candidate and you will, you will, you will not win-win situation. You will lose the candidate interest in terms of the other thing. Now, what are the challenge we'll feel during this? As I say, the person basically the difficult to look for candidate that culturally fit for the organization. In the virtually, these are the challenge we'll feel but we have to overcome how we have to more interact the person. We have to more spend time the person in terms of virtually when we connected multiple rounds of discussion, multiple rounds of the, uh, when we are interacting, we have to just this, but yeah, this is the challenge is there for virtual recruiting. Then now is showing arising like ghosting or no source. I think this is the, 
uh, industry norms most of the most of the uh, industry most of the recruiter most of the uh, ta person facing this issue okay but how we can do most more on more engage the person more on more do the brand uh, brand uh, more on brand awareness about your uh, your uh, your company and more on more awareness about the recruitment process we can come up this challenge the third point which is the challenges we can feel increased dependence on the technology i think most of the time example we are the tech technical savvy and i think if you remember the few few uh, month back there is one of the most you can say the famous social media platform which is gone down for 2 3 hours and it was a breaking news to the all media channels so when we are uh, while we are doing the virtual recruiting we are dependency will be increased on the technology side then difficult to assess body language and soft skills of course when the person is sitting in front of the screen then it be his body language and soft skills judging will be the tough task to the person and of course this is the challenge which we have to overcome hard to establish personal connection which i was saying the most when you meet the person you will you will you will chit chat sorry you will chit chat and you are talking to the person you will more you can connect the personal connection but when you going to going to for the in terms of the virtual recruiting this can be challenge in terms of the how you personal connection you are building to the you to the person that will be the and the other point which i want uncertainty among the candidate about the job security and of course the market and the rest of thing this is the person uh, uh, the candidates it's always be there that job security will be uncertainty will be there now what is the solution which we are talking about okay let's let's talk about the solution always always i i used to tell if there is a problem of course there is a solution and none of the problem without the solution so we have to we are we should be the person for the solution oriented instead of the problem oriented yes just just look at it if the during the covid if the people will have only thinking about the how will do the recruitment how will do the uh, you can say hiring how do the recruitment because most of companies start exploring the virtual recruiting and then and now at least most of the companies are doing their hiring and i remember the suddenly everything lapsed and so many companies were struggling to their employee was not able to you can start the start the uh, work from the remotely but few of the uh, company they are already ready mindset so that that's a uh, that's a problem and solution i'm talking about now here what to what we have to do we have to increase use of behavioral interview and assessment in virtual mode of recruitment so we should involve in terms of the uh, behavioral interview assessments there is a lots of technology there is lots of tools there is lots of survey you can do assess the person and when you are recruiting to the person there is a quick uh, uh, quick uh, links will be there there is quick platforms are there technologies are there where you can use more into person in terms of assessment in terms of the behavioral interviews now because when you doing the physical uh, when you doing the physical uh, interviews when you doing the physical connection then it's easy to person just the person behavioral and this aspect but when we are doing the virtual this is the mode which you can use the technology leverage the technology and conduct the our our uses of the behavioral interview assessment second is gamification now this is the uh, this is the very much uh, things going to popular in terms of the all the field in terms of the training in terms of the hiring in terms of the other hr activities gamification incorporating game element into the recruitment process make it more engaging so uh, as i was discussing one of the in my personal experience one of the top companies they suppose you got some link and they are talking about the we have the recruiter recruitment process as soon as you click that button that one pop up come and they say hey buddy you are looking hey guys you are looking for the recruitment you are hiring we are hiring for this role and that is the technology using and once you say yes voice command and or you can say the chat and it will be show the some several of questions and with the sum of uh, uh, some of the pictures or the 
uh, picture showing. Once you click there, then automatically it will start assessing your your the mindset whether you are really looking for a job, whether you are you are uh, just exploring the market. It will it's, it's an AI involved. It start sensing your mind, and after this process, once that's a thinking, and then it will be connect to the recruiter. So the gamification you can involve incorporate your recruitment process that will give the more engaging to the kind candidate to the uh, give the more result on that. Then emergence of virtual reality and AI for assisting assessing skills work workplace culture preview. So as I say now, if if you if anybody going to see your website in your uh, in your career career page and they see what is the culture about that. If they can see there in terms of the how how the your workplace culture preview, what are the how what are the videos, what are the pictures, what are the you can say how and if you see the virtual reality about there, there it will be more they will more connected. They are more uh, as I say, if virtual recruiting is doing, they are not present. They are not seeing the your office environment. They have not seen your uh, uh, work culture. They have not seen your uh, your premises. But how you can involve into virtual reality in terms of AI for assessing skills and workplace culture preview that will help to us. Then again, I said new digital and social recruiting channels. Uh, most of the companies started especially for ITs and BPO sectors. They're starting for the using the lots of social media channels and uh, not only with the professional uh, so, uh, professional uh, uh, social media, but yeah, the uh, the personal social media is also they are starting using that will be the additional of the you can say the uh, the people are started using for the uh, recruiting for aspect use data analytics that's the most important and those are not using please start using that this will be the give the more value to in terms of assess the patterns it will save your time it will save your energy and you will get the more and more result so data analytics that will be used. You have to analyze your data, whatever the data you have recruited last year or last quarter or whatever the past you have recruited done. And now you want it to do, make it the make it the data ready and do the data analytics. And after that, do the market research on that aspect and then go for it. It will give the more and more result in terms of the rest of things. This is the recent, uh, uh, I can say, the, this is one of the uh, you can say survey has done okay and uh, this the uh, basically again the linkedin professional networking site this is the survey they have done and they said next 5 years next 5 years these are the uh, these are the skills if you having you can be a best recruiter you can be a best talent acquisition professional so this is the survey they have done and i think uh, you everybody will be agreed on that that uh, we all are the we all are here to be a uh, uh, in our field we should be the best and next five years what is the recruiter top skills recruiter will need into the future in their career in their personality the one is coming communication how we communicate the candidate and that will be going to play a role of the almost 78 percent that will be going to uh, play a role major role when you are communicating, how effectively we are communicating, how clearly we are communicating, how crisp we are communicating the person, the candidates, the your management or your stakeholders, it will be play a major role. Then is coming relationship building. The relationship, as I say, is very much play a role when you interacting to the candidate, when you when you talking to the candidates. When you when you communicating to the candidate, your relationship is very much playing a role. And I can say, I'll just give the few examples. You will more uh, will be connected that the most of hiring which I do personally, and most of hiring uh, uh, that I do this is all the top leaders and the leaders which I personally uh, handle it and. Typically, their notice period are 60 or 90 days in, in the day. The 60 to 90 days, how you engage to the candidate, how the relationship building, that's a most play a role. And I have seen the success ratio of for my engaging to the candidate, it's gone to 98 to 99%. How 
because the first interaction when we are doing your your the the way you are interacting i used to tell to the my uh, my you can say uh, the team or all when you making the first call to the, any candidate first call just imagine the person don't know your education the person don't know your background the person don't know your experience the person don't know what experience you carry though don't know what is the your education level what are the your designation the way you communicate to the person the way you build up the, your relation that will going to impact his the process and trust me the 10 to 25% you will win the win the game on that spot when you first interaction to the doing the any candidates and if you are going to just casual talk hey i have the requirement would you interested of course you are not building the repo with the your candidates so here is the key factor you build the relationship how will the relationship you don't show the your need when uh, when you sending the what is the other person profit what the benefit of the other person other side whichever the person you are communicating that's a player role that you have to go with your homework when you screening the profile then you do your homework before you approaching to the candidate before you approaching to the uh, your your in the market that's your relationship when you when you start when first communication done so if you effectively communication done and you building your relationship then you done with the 35 40% and rest of the things then you start process and when i say 60 to 90 days when i am after the even selection when 60 to 90 days is there and we wanted to make him successfully uh, onboarding how is going to happen if any latest updates in your about your company success you can communicate if any latest information in the market about your company please communicate if the candidate get any achievement in there please go and greet the person if you wanted to share about the market trend please go and update to the person not every time you just talking oh you have finish your uh, resignation what is your last working day when you going to join that's not the key when you talking about the and that is not a relation building that's just a, just a formality check when you building the repo with the candidate with the, your hiring part it will be give the big impact that's how the survey also showing it showing the uh 73% and then is coming the adaptability how the technology we have adopting how this how the different things in coming the market and we are ready to accept and we are ready to uh, you can say adaptability that's a most play a role in terms of when we are doing this adaptability then is coming problem solving always day and night we face the lots of challenge in our life in terms of our workplace in terms of our Uh, in terms of our, our personal life we have to come up with the problem solution as i say every problem having own solution when it coming to the problem solving approach when we are coming to the how we are going to this take this problem and how going to solve this problem then you will be the winners winning side and definitely you will be the uh, you, you will get the positive result and last one is business ocmen okay so when when you the business when we are talking about how we are well connected how we are business effectively how we are trained sorry how we are trending to the market that's how the we are we are winning size and that's how the play a role for the and this is the five top five you can say the skills which we should uh, we should adopt and because as per the as per the survey says this is the next five year these are the this will be the play critical role in terms of any 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 uh, recruiting side so that's it from my side uh, nomin before i in this session i go for uh, our q and a session i will ask if you play one more uh, uh, survey poll and then we'll go for q and a session sure we'll do that sir All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we've launched another poll. Uh, the question is: Do you use AI tools in recruiting? I request all of you to kindly participate in this poll. 
And this will also, you know, create a foundation before we get into the question and answer round. And I request uh, all of you to kindly participate. I only have 30% of them taking the poll at the moment. Uh, before we close it down in the next 12 seconds, I'd request all of you to please participate in this poll because your opinion matters to us. So I kindly request all of you uh, to please participate in this poll before we stop that and also share our uh, results. So I'll hold that for the next five seconds as well before uh, uh, we close it down. Please, please do uh, take the poll. It's important and gives a different perspective as well. All right, so I'm going to end the poll at the moment and uh, we will also share the results. So uh, Anil, this is how the results look like, uh, you know, followed by no and then uh, you know, 61% say no, and then 39% say yes. Yeah, I was expecting this because most of the uh, most of the uh, recruiters still not used. But yeah, this is the upcoming right. uh, market, and this will be the future for AI aspect. That will be the going to. Be Anything there. that you want to, you know, uh, stress on, and especially when you look at the percentage there before we get into the question and answer round. So, round. so Noel, the the here what happening the. We are not used to, as I hmm. say, and we are not reached that stage that forcefully, forcefully we have to do. I'll tell you the example. So when we are virtual recruiting, we started the most yeah. of industry and company, there was no choice because most of COVID after that, there is no choice. So they have to adopt in forcefully and the human tendency, the most of the human tendency until it's not come the forcefully, they, they don't, uh, they don't adopt that uh, things. So AI is a newly things launched this few years back and the most of industry, the top industries, of course, they are started using and the lots of things will be go on and the slowly, gradually. But yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised that 13, uh, 39, I think 39% people are saying, yes, that's a good move. I can say after the AI is come uh, all forward. So this is the good trend, but yeah, this is the, uh, this is the going to be future. And that's how I've included the technology and AI and all aspect that we'll use for the future. And everyone, I think uh, when you do the next session or something, you will see this trend will be changed. That for sure. Absolutely. I totally manifest that. And thank you so much for sharing those points as well. And well, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, another important segment uh, in our uh, session. I'd request you guys to kindly share your thoughts and you know, please let us know if you have any questions, please drop uh, your questions on the chat box. I see that there are questions already popping up, which we will take eventually uh, because there were questions whilst we were taking this session. So I request all the participants to please drop a note on the Q&A box or the chat box so that we can pick up your questions. All right, Anil, so with your permission, can we get into the segment of question and answers? Yeah, please. All right, Q&A, all right. So the first question uh, over here uh, was, um, is it correct if we recruit through social media, uh, would that affect our branding? Yeah. So, so, so of course, every company having the marketing team. Okay. So social media. So when I talk about the social media, so it's, it's, a, it's a very beneficial also It's very risky also. Okay. That's, that's a, we have to do the balancing. Okay, we have to anything which we do the balancing will not go over shooting the uh, promotion. Yeah, but with the marketing guidelines, every company having their own guidelines, the social media guidelines, which we have to follow the guidelines. And why, why social media is now say because the, the people which are they are doing in terms of the uh, everybody having the handy with the mobile. And most of mobile, the most of the popular social media, I don't want to name it, but they are already installed. So just look at their, their popularity. And everybody, if you see, I was just going through one of the, uh, watching one news and uh, I'm talking about the India aspect. So there was one uh, survey says there is two social media, which very popular. And they are telling every average Indians spend three hours on the screen for the they're on the social media. Just, just imagine three hours, average Indians, which is the populations are there. So just imagine in three hours, in the three hours window, those, those are people not opening their laptops and all and all. And with three hours, if you pitch in into the, your ad or your branding, 
what the reach you are making to the impact, what is the how you making the impact, that's a player role. And that's how the strong social media, now it will create a brand, it will damage a brand. Both aspects are there. So while we're using the social media, we have to use very, very effectively, very, very carefully we're using for, because you are not representing yourself, you are representing one brand. You are trying to create one brand. You are you are representing one company. And of course, the company, your, as I say, we are brand ambassador. It's our responsibilities more when we are representing some company. Like you representing some company, I representing some company. So when we are using social media, we should be very careful while we're using. But of course, that's the power of, as of now, the medi medium, the mediator. So as of now, medium is a social media when you reach the maximum people for the your advertising or brand. Yes, please. Right. I guess it's very well thought and, uh, you know, very nicely put across. Uh, I guess it's very important for us to, you know, be the right ambassador, right recruiting ambassadors, whilst we use the digitized platforms, uh, because, you know, that's, that's an open forum and, you know, anything can happen in that particular aspect as well. So exactly. you want to be careful as well. However, it's not a, you know, uh, a hassle to use it uh, easily available but then it's important for us to you know have the regulatory guidelines as well in place before yeah. we do anything yeah. uh thank you for that and uh, before we move on to the next question uh, i also wanted to ask uh, you know do we have uh, any tools on data analytics as such for recruitment there is a multiple tools available in the uh, in the market Achha. and uh, it will be tough me, uh, not tough. I can say it's unfair if I use it one name and mm -hmm. another name I'll not use, particular the company aspect. But yeah, there is a different AI tools are available. Mm -hmm. Anybody nowadays, uh, just example, uh, if you're going to the, just type it some, uh, Google it, you will get it. The so many two tools, ATS mm -hmm. are there. There's a multiple AI tools are there, newly there. And very favorite for every day, everybody now is chat GPT. So just mm -hmm. you go and ask your answer and then you will get quickly on the chat GPD answer. So yeah, there is a multiple AI tools are available. There is multiple data analytics tools are available. There is multiple ATS are available. You use it as per the, your need, as per your company need, as per your individual need. Uh, because it's it's a it's it's a cost involved, is the package involved. So mm -hmm. it's it's a it's it's same fund it cannot be go for the all company. Might be your need is different, my right. need is different and the other company need are different. So as per your need, you can use for the, your AI tools, you can use your ATS tool, you can your data analytics tool. It's a depend on the completely on that used basis. Absolutely. And it's important for us to also maintain that, uh, you know, equilibrium in terms of understanding what is the consumer need versus what have you to offer? Yes. Exactly. A lot of people want to duplicate or copycat market a couple of things, but uh, you know, it's important for us to also uh, try to delve in uh, into those insights before we do that. So adding on to, uh, you know, that uh, particular question, uh, we'd also want to, uh, you know, check how do we control uh, backups? You know, that, that's something that you also emphasized in the session, I pretty much uh, remember. But uh, is there anything that we have to validate or probably have a control mechanism for that? Uh, in terms of what, Newell? Uh, backups. Uh, you're talking about the backup, the candidate backups? Yes, the backups, the candidate backups. Yes. yes. So this is the, uh, you know, evergreen challenge for the recruiting industry and recruiting. So there's a few things which I personally have applied in my uh, my recruiting careers, or which is almost 17, 18 years careers. Mm -hmm. So one thing which I have to do is, one, when we, need, we know the critical positions, okay? When we know that this is the very important position to one, which we feel the person is 99% sure, but always create a backup for that role. Okay. Right. And backup when I'm talking about is so not that one you have offered and other you're not sourcing the started. No, that is not the backup. Mm. Backup, how are you doing? The when you're going to the management that, okay, this is option number one. This is the option which we are using. Okay. And this is going to ahead. And after that, this management say, okay, this two candidate, I like it, but I'll go with this one. The second candidate, you keep it on warm. Okay. And the third candidate, you create a pool that if, because this is internal process done. And if first candidate will not 
you can say join or not going to successful onboarding you have to pitch into second candidate and if second candidate will also drop down the third candidate already in interview process right. so end of the day your project depend uh, dependency will not impact and your management your stakeholder will be strong and you will be keep back up the profiles if you have given one profile and the person is last moment not joined then you will be in the trouble you will be in hot soup right and will also there be a slowdown or probably a higher freeze uh, in uh, 2023 do you do you also forecast anything of that happening uh, so uh, as per me this is my completely personal uh, opinion okay which i can see the trend uh, this complete year this complete year go to the same line there is a two reason which i found one first reason that post the pandemic most of it companies they have over hiring done they have done the over hiring and the cost was super and then word label there is some crisis happened okay economically and the rest of things which everybody is aware the most of the most of the impact gone on that side okay so and you if you say that nowadays it and technology impact with the everywhere okay and if it market down it will of course it will impact to the other industry as well so what happened the two reason which the most of company i don't see the hiring is uh, i i don't say that the the you can say hiring gone complete freezed but what happening it's companies are hiring on the need basis and those have done the over hiring they have done over suiting their budget they are now controlling and that aspect and if you see the uh, apac geography aspect i don't think it will going to big impact i think recent uh, that uh, that once some company has done survey and that's throwing the data that it will be more impact for the european countries the most of the european country is going to affect on that there is a various reason on that the ge geography there is a financial crisis there is a uh, you can say war and all this multiple challenges will be there so they will but asian countries is going to less impact but of course the impact nowadays is the digital uh, things it will be impact but less impact but if you see my personal opinion it's completely my personal opinion 2023 it will be going to the same way the way is going on and of course the most of hiring going to happen which i have told during the my presentation the most of hiring going to have ai cyber security these are the banking these are the area is going to more hiring going to happen so we have if we wanted to lift the game so we will be up to date and as a recruiter as a recruiter i always believe i am i am as a recruiter as a recruiter this is the time we strengthen our skills in terms of adaptability learning the new tools learning the new experience and learning the new aspect which is going it will be create you uh, i mean give you the more boost up and keep it ready for the next level of hiring when is the hiring going to full speed into the market most probably 2024 yes right. so i guess it's a, it's a measure of phase at the moment that we are into uh, you know trying to control the damage uh, in, in case you know there they've been the, we are trying to re-engineer and revamp a lot of uh, the approach as well so adding on to that uh, you know anil could you also suggest um, you know the popular branding techniques uh, in case you have any in, and that will also give us a a, a detailed uh, projection in terms of how do we have to uh, be game for that yeah so so the techniques which i have uh, told the one we have to the there's a lots of industries recruiter and ta team is still tf folks is still they are not up to the game for the digitalization digital world so they have to lift the game for those aspect and then we have to we have to see always we have to update it ourselves we'll see the what is the trend going on into the market and we have to add ready for adopt those those ch changes what is going to happen in the market and we should be ready for and quickly we have to if we are not skilled we have to just get get uh, a train for ourselves get understanding those market and get get used to on that platform and we should be ready for the next level of the war which we are going to fight for that so when we are ready for the mice see always i i always tell to my uh, folks the it's a recruitment recruitment is always a sales job 
Okay. It's, it's an intellectual things which we are selling. It's not a product, not any service. We used to sell our thought. You have to sell our mind. When we're talking to the person, and, and the always is there when I used, uh, novel you will surprise, uh, I used to, when I started my career uh, in uh, early, early stage, uh, you can say 2004, 2005. I remember I was hiring one of the top company, uh, the Java. And Java technology was very new to that time. Okay. And we are recruiting to Java. You can't believe I made it 100 questionnaire for me, for my understanding. And I filtered those questions for the, for the Java candidate. And I ask random 10, 15 questions. Although I having the question answer both. And if I feel the person is 85% qualifying by my question, and, and, and trust me that my success ratio was 95% those time. How? Because I was going for the preparation. My preparation, my work, groundwork was always ready. And some of the, uh, some of the uh, uh, you can say candidate ask, is that, sir, uh, technical interviews or is that uh, HR interview? So, so how it's, it's up to us how we are get involved and how we are enjoying our work. If as a recruitment guy, we are enjoying and if we, if we are here to just sitting and just doing our uh, table, uh, table job, desk job, then it will be the tough time. But yeah, if you start enjoying to the, our job, if you are start enjoying to our work, and these are the challenge you will you will enjoy every day every 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 question every every day new challenges every day new tech, uh, candidate every day new technology it will be i i used to say as i say there is a time when job portal was less using the people we have to make it the different uh, boxes we keep the sales profile in one box and the uh, marketing profiles to different boxes and the Java different boxes. So whenever the, we are processing to those clients, we have to dumble it, the all CVs and send it through courier or through personal. They receive the hard copy and then start doing the interview. Those are the time. And now we just see you sitting here in the job portal, you job board, you open it, filter it, uh, this one in 10 minutes job, you'll get it the profile. Imagine those time recruiting challenge. And compared to those time and now, it's nothing. If the somebody has seen that challenges and now he will feel is just smile. And now the next phase, how the AI tools going to use, how the robotic technology we are going to use, how the robot going to screen the first level, second level of profile. Just imagine 10 recruiters are sourcing the 10 screen and one guy is will, one robot will come and he'll just do the 10, 15 minutes, dump, screen the profile and dump it to the calling and to recruiters so that is going to next uh, change of the uh, change of the world absolutely and i'll not waste many uh, much time because we have a lot of questions as well popping in the chat box so i'll just be a little more quicker uh, so uh, you know th there's another question which says uh, you know which ats system is the best to be used uh, what will be more cost effective uh, replacement for workable uh, in turn around as well yeah so as i say i will not name it any particular ats tool but yeah it's again because uh, this platform there is a multiple country, uh, multiple geography people are joining. So yeah, so again I say it's a need basis. What is your need? If mid-sized organization, there is a different tools are there. If bigger organization, there is a different tools are available. In the uh, tools are available, you have to explore, take the take the you can say demo on those product, understand those product, see the result, see the past companies those are using those tools see their feedback, testimonials, and then go for it. But yeah, there is a multiple tools are available. There is a multiple ATS tools are available. And now there is a lots of ATS tools syncing to the, your career page site. So that will be easy. Anybody joining, anybody uploading their profiles on the career site, it will be two minute job. The ATS will filter and give it to your, uh, your uh, chat box or your alert system on the mail. It will come, you just making the calling to the person and going ahead further. Got it. So what are more ways to, you know, convince the candidates, uh, you know, probably to join from big companies to a mid-sized organization or evolving, growing organizations? So two, three aspects. As I say, uh, you have to understand the candidate interest. Once you start, uh, you can say understanding his mind, uh, what his mindset. There's a, always two types of the Two types of crowd in the market. One who run behind the money, financial aspect, everyone run, but yeah, 
there is a first primary focus second people are second crowd is there which focus on role responsibility so there is a lot there is most probably is happening if the person is working the bigger organization their hierarchy their culture their system is a different might be he is not doing the 360 degree job the same job but when you side mid size company and we we start up when you showing the role and if you check that person what is your uh, the interest aspect but the if you your your judgment is right if you judgment the person that okay yeah this is the person will fit into our culture and you saw his vision that company vision company company where he can grow his career from here then definitely that will be the i know that's a challenge that's a the problem challenge is there but most of the most of the uh, time when 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 we just to the throwing the money and throwing just uh, uh, money that's not the solution you have to understand the person what's the what the first primary focus on and and uh, noel you will surprise there is a uh, there is a uh, junior layer mid layer and senior layer all the mindset will be different when you hiring for this aspect there's a lots of lots of senior leadership team if they work in the top level company if you offering to the second level and if you uh, brief in detail about the role responsibility where is can grow he will be very much happy to come down to one uh, stage in terms of the uh, organization aspect and he will happy to join however when the junior level of the candidate of course they think about the brand and they are more so there you have to convince the different your strategy will be the different for the all the level of the candidates that's how i can say right and in addition to that how can we be more secure of our job in recruitment if you know ai will be doing the sourcing in the next coming years so uh no this is human touch no one can take that's my personal uh, this one right okay. lots of places where uh, uh, you will wonder there is one restaurant in the bangalore where robot serve the your uh, if you go to that restaurant you order on your table and robot will come and i think hyderabad and bangalore also there they'll come and serve but just just imagine i know the person will uh, the human touch hmm. okay when you going in a restaurant any any waiter come and just say sir hi how how can i help you you will yeah. feel the different experience in the when a robot come so the human touch will be always there however that will be the not impact but what i'm trying to say we have to up the game so we have to adopt the new technology we have to adopt the new things so your job will be secure enhance your skills enhance use your time like this this year most of the company not hiring pressure will be not there enhance your upskilling your uh, uh, things understand the market and go for it market it will be the more good for that it will be more helpful in terms of the there you should be up to the mark that up to the market that's how i can say right and uh, you know uh, in terms of uh, Uh, as a recruiter, you know I, they know that the candidate is willing to join the job, and you know they, he's trying to introduce or he's searching for another job, uh, and he's trying to buy out time. So can we also, you know, focus on reducing that maybe, and trying to you know onboard the candidate quickly maybe? See, it's it's again, of course, is the two way process. The mm -hmm. candidate involved and you involved. So while while you pressurizing to join early, there is a multiple techniques are there. Right. Use if your company allowed give him some some extra benefit like joining bonus or extra perks which you can offer or you can say the uh, uh, you can give the this is the benefit you will get it once you join early we can buy out your notice if the candidate stuck for the 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 notice period aspect so the various factors are there which you when you it's it's a, and again it depend on case to case basis. it mm. can't be in generic for the all the aspect but it's a case to case basis where you can use that the uh, use that uh, techniques on the various candidate to candidate but of course as i say you create your backup you right. always create your backup if right. your backup is ready then mm. yeah little bit pressure also you can put across yeah there is a other candidate we have the project and all, lots of things we, which you can do but yeah case to case basis and depend on the person how are you going to interact on that yeah, because we have a lot of people you know who have counter offers and they're looking out for remote uh, as well work from home again which is the new normalization or new normal 
uh, you know any any uh, anything that you'd like to you know give us a tip or a solution for that so uh, so there is there is a there is a multiple industries okay there is service industries where uh, nowadays most of companies do the hybrid model there is a product industries there is a, a different it services industries those are company not even needed even early days also even not covid there few company was culture was there in a month you come once and just attend a meeting like developers and all they not needed every day uh, mm. into the office but of course if you are sales professional if you are marketing professionals if you are a recruiter okay your job is to be in the office so it's a, it's a depend on the role wise and it's yeah. a depend on the industry wise uh, so both both aspect yeah but of course the be present in office it's a different uh, you can say uh, the feeling altogether and be in the home that is a different feeling it's it's again depend on the company management and company and management how would if they are not impacting their their result or their uh, you can say uh, aspect then definitely it will be go but yeah it will take time to complete normalization but yeah most of companies now they are giving for hybrid model and uh, if it's not impacting your uh, uk result then of course that will be the uh, good to go and uh, give the leverage to the people who will do the balancing work life balance and if they are productive and then you you can go ahead i i don't think it's a big challenge on that aspect but yeah uh, it's a differ on the company to company and it's a differ on the position role wise i guess Right, absolutely. We'll just take two last questions. I know that there's a lot of questions in the chat box, but in the interest of time, we'll do that. So, what if you know on prior analysis that uh, you know current data uh, that the the organization has doesn't meet the requirements? So, do the do the recruiters do more research on that, or do they do their homework as well? Like you mentioned, bucketing also plays a critical role there. So, two three things here are there, Nirmal, which I wanted to address. If you see your hiring trend last from. Uh, two quarters three quarters mm -hmm. uh, last year data you will see what is the see there is a you have to do the different bucketing right. one what are the major skills your company has hired okay what are the what are the uh, compensation you have offered mm -hmm. which are the department you have uh, hired more which are the location you have hired more right. okay which are the which are the what are the percentage hike you have given to the people mm -hmm. which are the competition you have hired which right. are the industry of our these right. are analytics you have to do and then you make your next hiring plan Got so it. now this is the uh, most of company taking the hiring plan from their uh, uh, hiring plan from their pa teams so this is the you'd see the trend i can't see i can't say it will be 100% perfect on the same time in future aspect but yeah it will give 70 to 85% your trend and then you you can make your strategy instead of going to blank you will make your strategy and you when you do forecast this data in front of the management then i'm sure your management will be also uh, impressed of the way you have filtered it like example last year you have given this year so this year this year age, uh, this year years experience of people you have hired this right. age group people we have this is the diversity hiring you have done this is mm -hmm. the location wise hiring you done what is the cost impact last year what is the cost impact now to make the analysis and then give up put across to the uh, put across to the management and then take it ahead for the next year hiring awesome awesome i guess one last question so before i let you yeah. go you know what is the recruitment trend for the uh, 2023 given that most tech giants have been affected right so any any trend that you also observe and you know your opinion on you know the current trend that social media is used for recruitment uh, job posting or professional medias right memes and advertisements and so on so what's your opinion on that so this, as i say now is the market for social media and if we wanted to lift the game then we should be very much active on those social media right. and social media is not just you post the job and then your job is done right. no if example professional social media which you are using professional networking site okay if you use effectively and you engage your followers what kind of the content you putting across what kind of the information you putting across what kind of the information you giving to the on platform so your followers is keep getting engaged this should not like that after 3 month you got one requirement you just post it and done no 
how you invest your time onto that platform and right. what content you are providing what kind of the your likes will come in what kind of the your thought process you sharing the uh, so you are sharing the post what kind of the information you sharing it's all matter and and uh, the i think most of the people if you see uh, novel uh, most of the one social media platform just imagine if you mm. watch some sports reel reels if you watch some movies reels you will just see next day most of the reels you'll get it for the only sports and uh, reels uh, sports and uh, uh, yeah. right. why you have not typed anything it's artificial intelligence is choose that what is their interest and automatically picked up intelligent targeting as well yeah intelligent targeting you have not any any option you have not selected right and if somebody is watching the spiritual videos the person will see next day only most of the spiritual videos is only coming so it it shows the so here also they are using this platform and how effectively we are using so your target audience mm -hmm. your audience for example your professional networking having 10 10000 or followers 20000 follow this they they expect something from you correct and how you engage at least in weekly some information go on from your side right that's how the expectation so you keep engaged those crowd and trust me most of the hiring which i my level i do hiring as of now i is personal connection and the personal references and the my social media which I, sometimes i don't post it i just go and i i few things i remember and few guys keep checking few month hey any any opening here or not right. so it's it's a depend how you visible into social media lots of recruiter they have created three years back some profiles and they are not active on when requirement come they are going to post so do you think that that going to give the result answer is no right yeah absolutely well uh, thank you so much uh, you know that it's you know past 9 minutes but you know you have been absolutely uh, you know delightful in terms of you know explaining as well and i couldn't be more thankful to you thank you so much and uh, we definitely want to do a 2.0 of this session as well very soon uh, you know basis your availability thank you anil sir i guess it was definitely a learning that was elaborate and absolutely magnificent and uh, you know and the explanation was top notch thank you so much sir truly truly appreciate that and it was uh, indeed an honor to host you alongside thank you so much noel and it's a, a great learning towards the uh, crowd i think lots of question is came and i'm very delighted that lots of people have joined and they have raised the question and uh, you are uh, very much you have interacted and that's a i thankful to you and you have invited and thankful to found it that he invited and given uh, privilege that i have shared my thought thank you so much well well lastly we've come to the end of the session so your opinion matters and thank you so much for that uh, you know amazing energy that was uh, flowing through uh, i really uh, you know love hosting all of you here uh, until we look forward to the next upcoming session very soon so your opinion matters so please do take the uh, feedback uh, survey once you uh, end the webinar yeah uh, please please uh, understand that your opinion matters and this is noel signing off please take care of yourself